yeah, I'm not watching this cutscene again. Sorry, Batman. But uh, yeah, welcome back to the possibly, possibly final episode of Joe, Joe Plays Batman Arkham Asylum. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I have a good feeling about it. I feel like we might be uh, in the running for a uh, for getting kicked by a rando. I'll batarang these guys in the face in a second. I want them to clear up their own friends a little bit first. I have a plan. I'm not just being a complete idiot here. There we go. That's what we were waiting for. A nice big opening to... Okay. That wasn't, wasn't quite what I wanted, but okay. It's fine. It's fine. Told me to quick batarang. I thought I meant the other guy was charging me. Turns out, no, that's not what the problem was at all. Oh, okay, right. So, we, we, we were kind of thrown right into it, but hi, how are you all? How are you doing? How are you feeling this this wonderful coronavirus day? I tell you what, I, I bought a new headset. Well, I bought it the day before yesterday. It arrived yesterday. I bought it off Amazon because my old one, uh, one of the uh, ear pads had come off it and then uh, if it, the connection was a bit weak so sometimes it like cut out in one ear and stuff so I thought it's about time I finally went out and purchased a, uh, a, a decent headset which I did and when I say went out I mean I stayed home and purchased a, uh, a decent headset like the responsible coronavirus boy that I am but here's the interesting thing made in China on it <laughs> so uh, I mean Let's see how that goes for me. <laughs> Using it now, you know. We'll see if I catch coronavirus with the ear. That should be an interesting one. Apparently, uh, my, my prime minister's got it now. Mr. Mr. Boris Johnson himself. I just got a text. I got a text about it because apparently that's a thing that happens now. I don't know where they got the, the government got like all of our fucking phone numbers from, but uh, yeah, they they've been sending me coronavirus-based updates via text. Ah, this is fucking going nowhere, isn't it? This is this is being a very bad attempt. This is being a very bad attempt indeed. The last one went better than this. Kind of upsetting. Yeah, I'm just getting killed by randos. Okay, we'll go again. We'll go again. That this time. loser didn't stand a chance. <laughs> I mean, look at me. Yeah, it was all you, and definitely not the the two big manly men you were paying to fuck fuck me up. Paying? I don't know if you're paying them. Probably not paying them. They don't seem like the sort who are that interested in money, honestly. They just sort of like do to do your bidding for reasons. Fanatics, I suppose. Wasn't the best start in the world, but at least I got one of them to hit the other one, so. Just remove this dude super quick. I don't know why I'm bothering dealing with the little ones, honestly, because I mean, the, uh, they just. I think. I don't know if they infinitely respawn, but they seem to respawn a lot. Can't seem to completely clear house around these parts. I always think the the big guys are going to block the other big guys' charge, but they don't, and they just plow through and hit me. It's a sad day, honestly. Beat him up real nice. There we go. That's what we like to see. Yeah, I guess I'll just try ignoring the little dudes for now. God damn. There we go. That's what we were after. This epi episode, incidentally, seeing as it is the uh, is is the final one in the series, I hope. I hope. Not that I want this game to be over particularly, but this uh, this feels pretty uh, pretty end times, he doesn't it? I can't see this going beyond this, but. Uh, I might be catastrophically wrong, but I think, I think this is going to be the final one. So, uh, in light of that, this episode, our DC Spotlight is on, uh, is on Batman himself. Yeah, we're focusing on, on, on the Bat, on the Bat Boy himself this time. So let's face it, like, DC has a lot of characters, but does anyone care about any of the others at all? I don't mean to be harsh on him, but... I mean, Superman's a fucking cock end, and most people couldn't name a third. 
<laughs> I mean, yeah, the Joker, sure, but if we're talking like franchises here, it's like you got your Batman, you got your Superman, and then there's, there's no one else. So, like, all these other characters who I've been talking about, they're super cool, don't get me wrong, but they're not relevant. Batman's the one we all care about, right? Men want to be him, women want to fuck him. I want to do both. He's, uh, he's, he's, he's very cool. I don't know why I'm just fucking punching these dudes. This isn't this isn't how this fight goes. I've nearly got one of them down though, and I kind of. <laughs> right. Please let me. Mm -hmm. Okay. We need to finish them, don't we? That was the thing I I learned last time. Right, there we go. That's one down. Come on, charge me, bitch. Oh, okay, trying to finish that dude off was a mistake. I get that now. Come on, charge me. Not you two. Oh, please don't let me fucking fail now. Please let me have this. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> for fuck's sake, he got he got me with his pipe. Oh, isn't that cute? Little bats are sleeping. Uh, okay. All right. Third time, or I guess fourth time, if we count the one in the previous episode, which we probably should, is as they say, the charm. Yeah, I think I'd, I I was onto something that time though, just completely ignoring the little boys, making the big boys my focus. That's it, just keep punching each other, you fucking morons. This is actually going pretty well. Maybe I shouldn't, like, actually try to mount them. Maybe I should just let them fight each other on their own accord. Uh, look at them. Look at them brawling. God, there's just so many little dudes though. It's such an issue. There's such a little dude issue. That's not going to be... Oh, I didn't get out of the way in time. I really didn't think I was going to. Let me on him. Let me on him. Thank you. Focus purely on getting them to beat the shit out of each other. The new meta. Come on. The other one is going to charge now, yeah. Smell it in the air. Wouldn't have stood around for quite so long otherwise. Let's get up on this boy now. Yeah, fuck him up real nice, Batman. Fuck him up real nice. Oh yes, this is going good. Just able to just fucking alternate between them. It does seem like if I thin the herd a bit with the little dudes, that there's only like two or three of them, then we don't get a new wave spawning and it's just... Uh... What's up with the other one? He's just sort of stuck there. Oh, there we go. I thought he was broken for a second. Excuse me. Yeah, we can like take down a few of these boys, I guess. Because we get as many hits on these guys as we like. It's only once we do three on the other dude that I get shaken off. Thought I'd get a cheap shot in while I could. <laughs> I say the the auto lock on for the batarangs is very fucking good. I didn't expect it to be quite that uh, accurate. It just always seems to know, you know, what you want to hit, which is very good of it. Right. 
We're doing well this time. Look how much health I've got left. And, you know, one dead, one almost dead. Getting bullied by this douche, but... It seems to be the little guys who are fucking me up more than the big ones. Did I mention how creepy the mannequin pile of... the man mannequin throne is? I can't remember if I brought that up last time, but I was definitely thinking it during the cutscene. That <laughs> it's, uh... I don't know where he got them, is the thing. Like, I doubt there's a uh, high street clothes shop around these parts, you know? Prize. What's my prize? Yay! I thought it was hanging from the neck then, Jesus Christ. Oh no. Batman took the injection. He's gonna be he's gonna be the incredible Hulk man. Trying to resist the change. That's not fair. Come on, get in. I think that would have just snapped so, Joker's neck, wouldn't you? You want to play hardball, bats? Do you? Your call. <laughs> pickle, pickle. No. Oh, you're ruining my big night. Months of planning down the crapper. I just wanted to bring down your grim facade and for once let you see the world as I see it, giggling in a corner and bleeding. We've all been there. But you've denied me even that. I have nothing to live for. Okay. So <sighs> is he going to become a Joker Bane? I said it at the end of the last video, it better not be a Joker Bane. Under lockdown, its staff at the mercy of the rampaging inmates. Just ten minutes ago, we received this taped message. Greetings, Gotham! Joker here! Arkham is mine! Soon I'll unleash madness and toll onto the streets of Gotham. But first, direct your eyes to the rooftops and witness the final destruction of your dear dark. Mm -hmm. We've been circling the tower since the wait. There, Joker is making his move. Oh. I mean, yeah, it's Joker Bane. I swear to God, if he has the same mechanics as every other Bane, I'm gonna be so fucking done. Showtime, He's not having a good time. His ribs are out of his body. Around the screen. I really hate the way the cursor shows up for the cursor. It's very upsetting. When did he get him into that electric chair? I don't know, you're just a bane. They're pretty easy. You wasted the antidote on yourself? <laughs> that's a bit of a waste, honestly. Joker's not wrong. Like, <laughs> but you still spoil my fun, and for that, I'll paint Arkham with your blood. Let's get ready to tango. That's not the saying. Okay, so he's all clory, clory, swipey, swipey. Oh. I tried to batarang, but Batman wasn't having any of it. There we go. Excuse me, bats. Hi. In you come, boys. I've softened them up, boy. Okay. Well, this bit I know how to do at least. Sort of. Here it comes. So, Mr. Referee, how was that round? Oh, <laughs> 
I wish there wasn't so much electricity around these parts. It's very upsetting. That looks like it burns that. Uh, oh, explosives, is it? I mean, so far... I mean, this is definitely the final five, right? This is, and I mean, you might have another form or something, but generally speaking, this is this is going to be the sort of end boss of the game. Not massively impressed so far. Come on, let's see some interesting mechanics, please. Come on, Edward Scissorhands, what are you doing? Give him a kicking for me, boys. Am I meant to do something? Is this something I'm meant to be doing? Or is it just fight waves of dudes forever? Fight waves of dudes the game. I definitely hit him before he hit me. We all saw it. The punch just didn't feel like connecting. Okay. How am I stronger than this? How am I stronger than giant beefcake joker? That doesn't seem likely. Okay, so fight a wave of dudes, pull him down, punch him a bit. I understand. I got healed as well. I was awfully generous of it. <laughs> just checking his bone structure. I wanted to be sure that he's not just like regular Joker under there, but then just with ridiculous muscles. Ridiculous. Oh, there's a fucking dagger we want. Oh, what's the betting the last one, the last wave is going to include a bane? What's the betting, eh? I'm telling you the betting. It's very likely. We're going to have to fight a bane in the bane fight. Oh. That was almost unfortunate. So far, those haven't been massively difficult to avoid, to be fair. But, uh... Dagger dudes. It's annoying because you can't counter them. Another one of these. What do you think I'm doing? Same thing I did last time. You really should stop putting your fingers down first, or else you're going to just keep getting caught up in your unfortunate position there. If you just let your mighty chest take the blow, you'll be fine. I'm not even allowed to punch him. The game doesn't let me. <laughs> Smashing the attack button then. Think you can beat me? Don't make me laugh. Back in a second. That's That's it, go back up there and precariously balance on that walkway. In you come, boys. Tear him a new one for me. I love new ones. Mind your head back. What are we talking about? I think it's good I am the greatest. What's that dude doing over there? Oh, guns! Guns! Fuck! I didn't realise that's what that was. It appears to be stuck in the electric fence now, though, so I've got that going for me. Keep them away from the gun closet. Got it. I <laughs> could. They just stop tripping over each other, what the fuck? That's hilarious! Oh shit, no, I didn't realise I was trapped in a tiny little 
The floor's electrocuted. Shit, wow. Oh, you can just stun those. I never realised that. Come on. Just stun them. Oh no, you can't. Okay, fair enough. I thought you could, but I stand corrected. I was sending more, really. I guess this is the final one. Picking up fucking tasers. They upset me. Just getting my ass kicked by myself here. Repeatedly accidentally hitting the dude with the taser. Don't you fucking dare. Are you really gonna. How many waves do I have to go through for this one? Ow! Oh good, yeah, I'm just fucking stun locked. That's that's great. I love the smell of burning new Right, can we do this now? Thank you. This won't stop me. This won't stop you. Oh. Oh, oh, he's dead. I'm sorry that that yeah, that's death right there. Phase two? Anything you throw at me, bats. You can't beat me. I'm actually going to win. He just filled his hand with explosives. Always. What? I'll never let you win. <laughs> never. And then Batman lost all of his fingers. Probably everything up to like the elbow, to be fair. He just yeah, he just exploded his hand. What a fucking moron. I feel like there were better ways of doing that. <laughs> oh well, good job Batman, I suppose. You you won. I'm fine, Barbara. The GCPD finally has control of the asylum. Doctors are treating the injured, but it looks like it'll take some time. All super criminals are back in custody. <laughs> Quite a mess in there. And the venom-enhanced inmates are returning to normal. Though for some, the process can be quite painful. Dad, how are you doing? I'll survive. See you tonight, Barbara. Shame about your car. Can I give you a ride? Thanks, Jim, but I have one on the way. Get some rest. You deserve it. You can summon a spaceship, you forget. Stay safe, Jim. <laughs> just like that he takes off in his fucking fighter jet to go stop another bad man because he is Batman and he doesn't care if his, he lost all of his fingers in an explosive accident. Well there we go, developed by Rocksteady Studios. Good job Rocksteady Studios, that was a cool game. Okay so here's the point in my in every let's play where I sit down and I talk about my opinions. You know, unlike the rest of the Let's Plays, where I, I also talk about my opinions. But this time I'm, I'm bundling it up in a neat little bow for you, putting it in a nice little package. It's a good game. It's a good game. I do regret not playing it earlier. Uh, yeah, I mean, you'd, you don't necessarily have to be a Batman fan for this, I don't feel like. I mean, I'm sure, like, people would have got the deep cuts a bit better than I would if they, if they were more familiar with the franchise, but... Uh, I mean, yeah, I came in blind and had a, had a good time. Lots of interesting characters. I really liked the Scarecrow segments. They were super fucking cool. As I say, very Psycho Mantis flavoured, which is always a plus as far as I'm concerned. I like anything that can really fuck with, the, fuck with the player on a level outside of the game itself. I think that's always very clever when they manage to do that. Um, Pony Island, go play that if you haven't. <laughs> I do have gripes. Of course, I've always got gripes. I feel like they could have had a bit more variation in the item pickups. The 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 four hook shots thing was a joke, but not untrue. Let's be real. <laughs> I did get four different hook shots. Um, <laughs> more boss variety. 
more boss variety for sure. I mean, here's the thing. Ivy was a cool fight. Beyond that, though? Fuck, were there any good boss fights in that game beyond that? Like, don't get me wrong, the, uh, the, the, the Bane fight initially was fine. Had no problem with it. It was very sort of cut and dry, you know, dodge the attack, hit them when they're stunned. You know, we've seen that in every game ever. And then the waves of enemies coming in that make each each ascending Bane fight slightly more difficult. But the fact that they just reused it so many times was really fucking depressing. Like, I feel like that was possibly a corner cut. I think maybe they were short on time and they were like, fuck, we'll just have to reuse this fight over and over again. I don't know, couldn't say. I don't know what the development cycle for this game was like, but uh, it does sort of stink of lack of creativity, honestly. Because as I say, let's face it, aside from aside from the Bane fight, we had we had the Croc, who was, you know, slightly different, but also not really a fight. It was literally just run through a sewer for a bit. And and Ivy. There wasn't any more, was there? I'm not forgetting any. If I am, then they clearly weren't didn't leave much of an impact on me. So uh Yeah. That that was a thing. Um, aside from that though, aside from that, obviously the atmosphere was fucking great. It was very good. Um, a bit more general normal enemy variety would have been nice as well, honestly. But a lot of just dudes. And yeah, I know they got different tools as the game went on, but like, you basically had your, your basic dudes, you had your psycho dudes, and then you had like the plant pods. That was, that was about it, right? Again, a lot of a lot of rinse and repeat there. So yeah, very good core game. Enjoy the gameplay. The combat's great. The stealthy sections, if you like, the the the, the sort of assassinate bits where you're hanging up in the rafters and you you're picking people off one by one. That is super cool gameplay. I really enjoy that. Um, again, very nice atmosphere. Great soundtrack. Although it does keep getting claimed, you dick. <laughs> Uh, visuals still hold up as well, honestly. Obviously, it's a cartoony aesthetic, but it, it looks good, despite being over a decade old. Um, yeah, big big thumbs up all round, honestly, for this one. I just I, say, I just wish the content was had just been slightly more varied. That is my that is my big gripe with it. But honestly, that's I guess a fairly commonplace thing for games similar to this one. And that's just sort of how these how these sort of go. I don't know. Maybe that's just maybe that's just my sort of interpretation of them. But when I look at Assassin's Creed, that seems to be an awful lot of just fighting, you know, some guardsmen or whatever over and over again. So I guess maybe that's just what's expected of these games. And and because the core combat is solid, it doesn't necessarily feel bad to to do that over and over again. It's not necessarily the the worst thing in the world to have the repetitive fights, but. Yeah, that would have been nice to mix things up, but, I mean, fucking Joker was phenomenal in this game, honestly. Very very good portrayal of him. Don't know about that end bit where he decided to roid himself up and punch Batman, that doesn't really feel like his style, but, you know, it's... You have to have a climactic boss fight and it has to be a Bane, doesn't it? So, <laughs> gonna be bitter about that forever. But, yeah, I'd say the... the the interpretations of the antagonists were, as I say, I don't really know these antagonists super well because I'm not a Batman fan, but they they were good. They were intimidating, you know, Killer Croc, genuinely big, scary, big man talking about eating people and shit. Very, very, very impressive. Obviously, Scarecrow, I'm going to rant about that forever because that was super cool. Um, very, very uh, spooky. I like, I like to bring some spooks into my video games from time to time. I honestly love it when... Uh, non-horror games incorporate horror elements i think that's always a real fucking hard hitter thief 2 um the aforementioned metal gear solid um you know this is great when games that you're expecting to be one thing really subvert your expectations and throw a curveball at you like that and it's it's very cool when it happens honestly so yeah big big thumbs up for the for the scarecrow segments big fan of that what else have i got to say what else do i have to say on all this I mean, the, the fact that it's a Metroidvania, to a degree, is neat. You can, you know, keep going back and re-exploring re and collecting all the collectibles and 
I'm sure, like, if I wanted to 100% this game, there'll be a lot more involved. I'd have to, you know, go back and break down walls I hadn't seen before with new tools and uh, use my uh, grappling rider line thing. What's it called? Mine's gone blank. The thing where you shoot a thing and then there's a line and you slide down the line. You know what I mean. Re repelling? Is it called repelling? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure there's lots of times where I could have gone back and re-explored all the areas and really embraced the full 100%iness of the game. It's nice that it has that sort of completionist sort of aspect to it for people who are really, really into it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Generally positive experience all around. Generally. For the most part. <laughs> I'm always going to have my gripes. I have my gripes with every game. I've said this before, I'll say it again. I consider so few games to be perfect. And even the games I do consider to be perfect, I'm sure could be improved in some way. I just don't possibly understand how Ocarina of Time could possibly ever be made better because it's so flawless. But, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I still love this game. I'm just always going to accentuate the negatives because that's that's what it comes down to at the end of the day, isn't it? What is that we're looking at? What was that? I don't remember seeing the weird mutant giant thighs multiple penis boy. That was weird. I was just looking at that silhouette in a weird way. These credits, uh, it's an interesting way to do the credits, but it makes them take for fucking ever, doesn't it? Are they looping? No, I don't think they're looping. I thought we were going to see, like, the voice actors, but then we didn't. I was intrigued for a second there. Oh, there they are. Hello. That's Mark Hamill, yeah. We knew that. Yeah, more, more voice acting than I thought in here. I suppose a lot of them are like henchman number four. But... Hey. What ever happened to old Hookhand? I know we freed him and then he was just sort of hanging around in a room full of ivy plants, but he seemed like he was going to be like a, a semi-main character and then we just never saw him again. I don't know what, that, what that, the whole deal with that was. I don't know. Also, what was... Was it just a... I've just, I've just been thinking back. When I first saved the... Warden. When I saved the Warden, and then I went downstairs, and I saw the Warden in the cell. And then he transformed into other people and stuff. What was all that about? Was that... Because I don't think that was like the prelude to a, a scarecrow segment, was it? That was that was just like a random sort of moment of weirdness in the game. Well, what the fuck was all that about? I don't know. That sort of stuck in my head as something that never really was cleared up. I thought maybe we were going to run into like a shape shifting antagonist or something at some point, but that never that never happened. Maybe it was a, a scarecrow thing, but I don't know. It just seemed really, really fucking weird and out of, out of left field. I don't know. You can tell I'm running out of things to say at this point, can't you? These credits are taking for fucking ever. <laughs> uh, there we go. There we go. There we go. We're there now. I was about to say we can. Uh, I might. I might just leave and let the, the credits run and then get back to you at the end. But I think we're pretty much there now. I didn't realise it was an Unreal game. That's cool. Powerful engine, Unreal. NVIDIA, the way it's meant to be played. Won't tell them I'm using a fucking Radeon graphics card. There's a Stinger! Hello, Stinger. What's this about? Oh, there's a crate of Titan. And Bane got it. Has Bane just been floating in the water for the entire time? <laughs> just been sat there chilling. Uh, it's doing a bit of a, a steady backstroke. Um, we've got a challenge mode now. What's this all about? I can be Batman or Batman armored. <laughs> be Batman armored. The challenge is currently locked. Okay, it's like, uh, yeah, I see. 
It's like uh, the challenges and time splitters, that's what this reminds me of. Or Smash Bros, I guess. Whichever Smash Bros it was that did these. Brawl, I think. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Um, I'm going to stop here anyway. Video is a bit shorter than normal, but hey, we finished the game, so, you know, what more is there to do? I'm not going to go back in and 100% that shit, because look, I did, I've done fucking nothing. 65% rough. Um, but I'll see you guys for another video. I don't know what I'm playing next. In fact, I know I'm not playing anything next after this, because I've still got Messenger and Ori on the go, and I want to get on with them, so... Um, but I'm sure I'll pick up another game soon, and if you're interested, then stick around and see what it might be. I'm sure it'll be a fun time for all of us. Uh, I, might, I might have a look at the other Batman games at some point in the future. Probably not immediately, but we'll get around to them at some point. I own them all because Epic Game Store is giving me free things all the time. But anyway, that aside, I will see you people later. Have a fun time. Don't go around licking strangers faces or anything because you know pandemic and all that and i will see you soon bye bye